Today, the famous Kraft TV cameraman focuses on outer space for another exciting adventure in the world beyond tomorrow. Throwback to all stations. Stand by to raise ship. Blast off, minus five, four, three, two, one, zero! Tom Corbett's Space Cadet, starring Frankie Thomas. This is the age of the conquest of space, where today the escape of two convicts from the prison asteroid sends Tom Corbett and his unit mates into an ambush in space. So long, Blast you. We'll never get out of here now. The whole place is alert. Stop your whining. Is the ship ready to blast yeah, off? Yeah, but I can't. Get out those controls. I'll handle the power down here. Okay. Hey, they're shooting at us. They found out where we are. Expect them to throw cream puffs. Set stabilizing controls. I'm giving you power. Hey, wait a minute. Wait. Okay. Space. Can't you get a little more speed out of those rockets? The reactors are wide open. Look, we gotta put a lot of distance between us and that rock. We will, don't worry. I'm coming topside. Okay. <coughs> Any ships following us, Brock? No, we gotta be clean. No one near us. Yeah. So nobody could escape from prison rock, huh? <coughs> Maybe we made it, but we're not in the clear yet. Every, every ship in the solar guard will be looking for us now. We've got to find a place to hide out. Yeah, we'll hide, all right, but not for long. I didn't escape from prison rock just to go into hiding for the rest of my life. No. Captain Roy Cowan is going to be ace of the space lanes once more. And everybody's going to know it. Especially those that sent him to the rock. <laughs> Maintaining course and speed as ordered. We'll head back to the academy as soon as we finish this leg of our patrol. Oh, good. Letter from home? Mm hmm. From my brother. They gave it to me just before we blasted off. <laughs> what a kid. Look what he sent me a membership certificate. Mm hmm. He and all the fellows and girls in his neighborhood have joined the unit. Now he wants to make sure that I belong. But doesn't he know that you started the unit, Tom? Look, it's even named after you. Well, I guess he doesn't want to take any chances. You know, this was a good idea of yours, Tom. Starting a cadet unit outside the academy, I mean. Should make all of the younger boys and girls real interested in space. You know, make them want to join the academy when they get older. Mm-hmm. Well, that was the idea, Astro. That's why Commander Arkwright and Captain Strong decided to give me a hand with it. You know, gave me permission to send out shoulder patches and rings, just like ours. Well, I sure hope everybody joins up. I am counting on it, Astro. It's the first step to becoming a real spaceman. Hey, Tom, check in. Well, haven't heard that voice in a long time. Yes, DJ, go ahead. I just picked up an emergency alert. Two convicts just cracked out of the prison asteroid. Prison asteroid? Oh, that's impossible. Nobody's ever escaped from prison rock. Well, you'll believe it when you hear who it was. Roy Cowan and one of his pals. Cowan? Jumping Jupiter. All right, TJ. How did he do it? Oh, he took over the space freighter that brings supplies out there every month. The general orders are for all ships in space to be on the lookout for them and to nail them. All right, TJ. 
What's our present position? Now we're holding on the Mars orbit, northeast quadrant, sector B5. Change course. Plot me a heading for the asteroid belt. All right, Astro. Stand by to pile on the neutrons. Okay, Tom, but why the asteroid belt? Because it's close to prison rock, for one thing, and there's no better place to hide. On a radar scanner, you couldn't tell the difference between the blip of a rocket ship and a piece of space junk. I guess you're right. We better watch our step, though, Tom. Remember what Cowan said when we first took him to the prison rock? He swore he'd pay us back. I know. That's why we've got to get him before he gets us. Getting near the asteroid belt. I'm getting a warning signal from space beacon number 12. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll be lost for good. It better be soon, Cowan. We're almost out of fuel. What? How'd that happen? I think there's a leak in the main tank. They must have hit us when we blasted off. Well, check it. See if it can be repaired. Without fuel, we're done for. Well, I don't think there's anything I can do now. Check it, blast you! like he's waiting for us. Yeah, he is. He thinks that we're the ship bringing in his relief. So? So use your brains. We can't go anywhere in this old tub, can we? So we take over the beacon station, and when that ship comes in, we hijack it. If we can get away with it? Beacon 12 to space freighter. Acknowledge, will you? Of course we can get away with it. Hello, this is... Uh... Space Freighter to Space Beacon number 12. We're uh, sorry we kept you waiting. Will you please give us landing instructions? We're coming in. Tight alongside. Magnetic couplers are engaged. Stand by. I'll equalize the pressure in the energy. Ah, come in, come in. Great Ganymede. Am I glad to see you fellas. Anybody else here in the beacon? Well, of course not. Check it, will you, Brock? Right. Hey, you fellas know better than that. There's never any more than one... Well, what is this, a joke? Hardly. Check topside, Brock. Sure. Well, aren't you the fellas that the relief crew that's come to take over? What do you think? Now, you behave yourself and nothing will happen to you. Nobody up there, Cowan. Cowan? Hey, you're the convicts that escaped from Prison Rock. <laughs> what do you know, Brock? I'm famous again. <laughs> What's this switch for? Leave that alone! Get no. back! Hey, hey, no rust up, Brock. Now, look, Pop, let's not fool around. What's that switch for? Controls... Beam. Yeah? And which is the magnetic coupler control? Over there. Let me see. All right, Brock, keep him covered. I'm going back to the ship. Sure. What are you, what are you going to do? I don't know, Pop. I don't ask questions. Might be a good idea if you don't either. Just keep quiet. You won't get hurt. Maybe. We reached the asteroid belt yet? About 30 minutes to go. Listen, I'm going to handle the power up here, okay? Sure. You worried, Tom? When a man like Count is on the list, there's plenty to worry about. No, I mean, are you worried about us, about his threats to us? Oh, I don't think he'd stick his neck out just to come after us. 
Well, maybe not. I remember the look on his face when we handed him over to the commander of Prison Rock. Oh, boy, if looks could kill. Well, they don't. So let's stop using our tools. I'm probably a lot more anxious to find him than he is to find me. Where do you think you're going? Well, no place. Stay put. Okay, okay, but take it easy with that thing. Calvin, what have you been doing? Told you. Getting rid of a last little problem. Which is the magnetic coupler control? Over there. The switch next to the end. Right, What's the idea, Calvin? Told you, I was just getting rid of our last little problem. The ship. The ship? Yeah. There she goes. Why, you off your orbit. We could have repaired that. Now we're stuck on this floating tin can. Use your head. With that ship glued to this beacon, anyone within scanner range can tell that we were here. Well, how are we going to get off now? I told you, this old duffer is expecting a relief ship, right? When it gets here, we take it over, and then we can go anywhere we want. Maybe. What happens when the solar guard finds that freighter? When they see we're not aboard it? Ah, uh, stop your worrying, will you? I said her reactor's to Wildcat. In 15 minutes, she'll explode into space dust. If we're lucky. We're lucky a solar guard ship will meet her just about then. Getting pretty close to the asteroid belt now, Tom. Yeah. But don't expect to find Cowan's ship right away. That would be too much of a miracle. Hey, Tom, check in, quick. Go ahead, TJ. I just picked up a space grid on my telescanner. What did you say about a miracle? Oh, is it Cowan's ship? Well, how should I know? There's no sign on it. How far away are we? About five minutes. It's full space speed. Take a heading of 206 degrees. Check. On course, Tom. All right, Astro. Open her up. Full. And keep your fingers crossed for that miracle. Blasted. When is that cup going to blow? Relax, Brock. You still got five minutes between before those reactors get into a critical mass. And then you've got a front seat to the best fireworks display you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Huh? The ship out there. There. Yeah, come up to stop it. What do you know? Hey, that's a solar guard cruiser. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm going to pay him back sooner than I expected. That's it, Tom. That's the supply ship. I recognize her markings. Repair number one and two torpedo tubes, just in case. Right. Tom! Tom, that's Cowan's ship. I know, TJ. We're in luck. Luck? What's so lucky about it? That guy's dangerous. So are our space torpedoes, yeah. TJ. And if he doesn't surrender, we're going to plant one right in his lap. Oh, great. Stand by, Astro. I'm going to call him. Rocket Cruiser Polaris to Space Freighter, check in. Rocket Cruiser Polaris to Space Freighter, check in. Come on, Cowan, we know you're aboard. Acknowledge. We're getting pretty close, Tom. Look, yeah. Less than five miles. Maybe we better hold it just right here, honey. It may be a trap. I don't see how it could be. Hello, Cowan, acknowledge. Acknowledge or we'll blast you. Forward tubes ready to fire. Hold it. What are you waiting for? I want to take him alive if I can. Listen, we'll pull alongside the border. Border? Oh, your space happy. Maybe. But I don't like the idea of blasting an unarmed ship. Stand by magnetic couplers, Astro. Right. Yeah, and stand by to get it in the neck, too. There goes the cruiser. Heading right for the freighter. Just in time for the fireworks. Yeah. And they'll be part of it, huh? <laughs> Stay right in that audio statement. Oh, no, no, stop him. It'll be murder. One more stunt like that, Pop, you'll find out what murder really is. Hey, Brock. Brock, they're coming alongside. We show you time those reactors right. Yeah, perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> yeah, even if they find out now, they'll never get away. Scratch one cruiser. Get ready, Tom. We're in parallel orbit. Stand by for a coupling action. Hold it. Let's stay here for a while. What's the matter? I don't know. There's something about this setup that I don't like. Oh, well, now you're getting smart. It isn't like Colin to give up without a fight. Do we couple on or don't we? I don't know. Wait a minute. Look, the main airlock is open. And nobody's aboard the ship. Colin's bailed out. So well, there's nothing to be afraid of then. No? Why would he bail out of a perfectly good ship? Look, let's get out of here and worry about it somewhere else, huh? That is a good idea, TJ. Astro port steering rockets. Two second burst. Let's pull a little further away and figure this out. Anything you say. Wait a minute, wait, something's going on over there. The power deck is flaring up. Power Astro, full blast!
Tom, we'll find out right now. Turn on the emergency batteries. Right. I want to check the radar operation. Good. <whistles> Nothing left of that freighter. What do you suppose happened to it, Tom? Looks to me like our reactors were at critical mass. Lucky thing we pulled away or we wouldn't be here right now. What about Cowan and the other guy? Do you suppose they were still aboard? Not with that open airlock. They either bailed out because they knew the ship was going to explode, or T.J. was right. It was a trap. If I know Cowan, I'll bet it was a trap, a dirty space crawler. Oh, we're better off than I figured. No damage to the controls. Uh, we're lucky. You bet. We're going to have to report this to Solar Guard headquarters. Hello, T.J., check in. Go ahead, Tom. Listen, call Solar Guard headquarters on Mars. Sorry, Tom, I can't call any place. That blast ripped our antenna loose. I'll have to go out on the hull and see if I can fix it. Oh, fine. Hold it, T.J. We're close to Space Beacon 12. Tell you what, we'll tie up there, give the ship a complete check while you work on the antenna. That's a good idea, Tom. We can report to the Solar Guard from there, too. Right. All right, Astro, standard space speed. Let's get over to that beacon. What do we do about Cowan? Nothing we can do now. We lost him. Looks like his blasted luck is still with him. So you were going to nail the Solar Guard cruiser, huh? Look at her, she's still flying. Yeah, but she's heading this way. <laughs> We may be luckier than I thought. How do you think? A fully armed cruiser is a lot better than a freighter, right? You can't take over a cruiser. Oh, no? All right, Pop. Get on that audio receiver and find out if they're going to land here. And don't get smart. I won't. Space Beacon 12 to rocket cruiser, come in. Space Beacon 12 to rocket cruiser, come in. They don't answer. What are you trying to pull? Nothing, believe me. Hey, she's heading right for us. She's going to land. Hey, what do you know? That's a Polaris. I'd know her anywhere. Polaris? Yeah. That's the ship took us to prison rock. Yeah. What a break. We not only get our cruiser, but I get to get even with those three cadets at the same time. Wait a minute now. You're not going to take any chances, are you? Just because you want to get even with those guys. I take any chance to get even with them. But this is a sure thing. I can't miss. Coupling on. All right. All right, Pop. Come on. Start that air cycle. Hurry up. Go on! All right, Brock. Let's give him a royal welcome. All right, Pop. One funny move, and this beacon won't need a caretaker. It'll need an undertaker. No, Dan. Hello. I'm Tom Carpenter, the Polaris unit. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Come on. Shot for Chopin. Don't move yeah. me. You get it. Yeah, who's moving? All right, where's the other cadet? There's just two of us. Oh, yeah, Brock. Check the Polaris. And be careful. You handle these two? Easily. Perfectly. Come on, you two. Get over there. You two, Pop. Keep your hands high. I'm sorry, cadets. There was nothing I could do. He would have killed me. That's all right. We understand, sir. This space rat makes a habit of picking on helpless people. He wouldn't dare risk an even fight. No remark like that, Corbin. Yeah, on what? Don't be frightened, Colin. You got the gun to protect you. Ah, uh, no, I'm smarter than that, Corbin. You're trying to get me steamed up so you can catch me off guard. Don't worry. I'll give you plenty. Yeah. Why wait? Because I want you to feel what I felt. The waiting. Back there on the rock. The helplessness. Knowing that nobody was going to help you. What makes you so sure nobody's going to help us? Yeah, you're fooling yourself, Corbin, not me. You know what it's like there on the rock? Too bad I can't make you feel what I felt. Well, I'll tell you. You live underground like a bunch of moles. And the only light you see is, is false light. And another thing, the only thing you breathe is canned air. Look, Colin, I didn't send you there. You sent yourself. And the only thing you see are those telecams watching you. It's enough to send any man space happy. I got no idea. You already are. Uh, I found another one coming. Yeah, I thought so. Good work, Brock. I'm sorry, Tommy took me by surprise. Don't worry about it, Astro. What are we waiting for? We got the ship. Let's finish him off and get out of here. All right, bro. Hey, Pop, get away from that switch. Ah! Let go of him, cadet. I'll blast your buddy. No, you won't. Hey, All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hey, go you. Yeah. Hold it. All right. DJ, right, set up. Right. Ah! Oh. Nice work, T.J. Tell my compliments. Where's Colin? He went topside and your friend yeah. went after him. Tom, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, but Colin got away. What? Close the topside hatch on me. 
Listen, is there any other way of getting up there? Yes, on the outside. There's a uh, ladder leads up to the platform. Good. But you need a space suit. The only one I've got is up there. It's all right. I'll get one from the Polaris. Hey, what are you going to do, Tom? I'm going after him. Look, let me have that gun. Oh, wait a minute, Tom. You can't go out there after him alone. You watch that joker. Oh, no, wait a minute, Tom. Look, you can't handle this alone. Tom. No. Don't you have any other space suits? I told you the only one I've got is up in the tower. Well, come on after him, would you? we got to oh, help. Oh, wait a second. Maybe if we can distract Cowan from in here, give chance, uh, Tom a better chance to surprise him. Here, you keep an eye on this character. Hey, but well, what are you going to do? Well, nothing but try. Cowan! Hey, Cowan! Look, he's not going to listen to you. Astro, I'm telling you. Look out, look out, kid. Yeah, what? Watch him, TJ. Yeah, 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 well. All right, you dirty space calling. Well, one moment, I'll let you have it. You will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Come here, that gun. Try pushing an old man around, will you? Well, this little ray gun makes us just about the same age, I figure, so try pushing me around. All right, cut it out. Take, take it easy with that thing. Yeah, this thing makes, makes things a little different, doesn't it? Can't you lock him up somewhere? Get him out of our way? Sure, sure, I can in the storeroom. Go on, you, that way. Okay. Okay, I'm going. And step lively. I haven't pulled a trigger in a long time, and I'm just itching to do it now. Oh. A lot of life in the old boy. Well, and then you, T.J., your hand was shaking so hard, I thought you were going to drop the gun. Oh, now, look, I don't mind going... that now. we got to nail Cowan. Come on. Cowan! Come on, you can hear me up there. Come on, Don Cowan, you haven't got a chance. What do you suppose he's doing? I don't know, but whatever it is, it can't be good. Maybe we better go outside and help Tom, no, It's huh? too late for that now. We wouldn't have time to suit up and get out there. It's all up to Tom now. All right, Cowan, you can stop right there. Corbett. Yeah. Let's go, Cowan, back inside. Your cell on Prison Rock is waiting for you. Oh, no. Well, oh, you'll never get me there again. Stop or I'll shoot. Cowan, come back or I'll fire. See Tom outside, Astro? No, he might be on the other side of the beacon. Maybe he isn't even in his spacesuit yet. Yeah, maybe Cowan got him already. Cut that out, will you? All right, that big fella's locked up good and tight. Where's Cowan? We don't know yet. And your friend out there? We haven't seen him yet, either. Hey, wait a minute. Somebody in the space suit jetting away from the beacon. Who is it? It'd be Tom. Why would he be jetting away? It isn't, Astro. Tom, what happened? Cowan got away from me. What? Jumped off the top of the beacon, blasted into the belt. I didn't have body jets, so I couldn't go after him. Well, let's go after him in the ship. Wouldn't be any good. By the time he got underway, he'd be out of sight. That's right, and without radar equipment, we couldn't possibly pick him up. Wait a minute. Well, why can't we use the scanner here in the beacon? No, that's no good either. You couldn't tell his blip from the rest of the space junk out there in the asteroid belt. Well, then, then he's done for. He sure is. When his oxygen gives out, he'll just drift around out there forever. Just another piece of space dust. I wish I was sure of that. I'd give my right arm to be sure. Don't forget to be with us for next week's exciting adventure of Tom Corbett's Space Cadet. Starring Frankie Thomas and featuring Al Markham and Jack Grimes.